I'm deciding to make the jump into buying a snack vending machine or a soda vending machine. Here's the problem. I don't know how much a vending machine is gonna cost and my headache is, I'm sure this isn't gonna fit in my little car. So I need to find transportation for it. There's this guy selling three vending machines and I know one of the hardest things is finding locations for your vending machine. He already has them in location. 3,000, I messaged him. We've been lagging. So hopefully he hits me up soon, but I'm still gonna be looking, looking on Craigslist. There's this, this one right here, close to me for 950, said it works. I'm gonna keep looking, let you guys know how it goes. So today is the day. I decided, you know what, I'm gonna make the jump. Still focusing on the small cannon machines, the small gumball machines. It's time to make that jump into the big snack size and soda vending machines. We're gonna go look at one today. And hopefully, I purchased one. Let's go. I kept messaging people, checking out different vending machines. And I think I found one. Hit up the guy, check them out, put a deposit. We're gonna go pick up the vending machine right now. And I know what you're thinking. But where is it? Are you gonna get a soda machine or a snack machine? You're gonna find out. I actually bought two vending machines, soda one and the snack one. The thing is, we have to borrow a truck. We can only do one at a time. So we're gonna go drop this one off, come back for the other one. Hope I don't break my back over this. Oh, look at this. Oh. The homie Nick, Nick, say, say what's up. What's up? Let me tell you something. You're gonna invest in the business. You're gonna think, oh, all I need is this much amount of money to buy it, and boom, it's gonna start making money. Nah, homie. I needed to go buy a dolly, $50. That's $50 right there, and also, me and the homie Nick can't carry the machine by ourselves, so I'm gonna have to pay someone to help. See how it goes. So, I'm the proud owner of two vending machines, snack vending machine, Soda vending machine. Now, I'm gonna test them. I'm gonna get them ready, stocked up, and I'm gonna go try to find a location. <gasps> I'll see you tomorrow. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm cleaning the whole machine, taking things apart, putting them together. I tested this yesterday, but we're gonna test it again to make sure everything works. And then hopefully, go buy a product and go find a place. Let's see how it goes. Let's test it out to make sure it works. Cleaned it a bit, let's do a test run real quick. All right, let's do it right there. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck. Put in a dollar. Uh-huh, we're gonna do F1, F1. Yeah! It works! Oh man. Let's go get some change from the bank. Let's go buy some products. And let's go try finding our first location. Let's go. So I used to get my candy from my candy machine business from Smart Final, but now that I got the big machines, I have to step it up. And I got myself a Costco card. That's where we're gonna go. I was talking to one of my good friends, Jamie Farnworth. He gave me some free 99 knowledge on, on the type of snacks I should buy. Please do me a favor. He's all about the vending machine business. Great guy. Go sub to him. I'll put him in the description below. Let's go see how much. I'm gonna spend on snacks today. Hopefully it's no more than $50. We're about to find out. I'm looking for the variety pack, M&Ms, Cats, Snickers, 
I can't find a variety pack. You know, I I have to find another way because I'm gonna easily spend over a hundred dollars on inventory that I don't even know is gonna sell. Oh man, so so I spent a little bit more than I wanted, seventy-seven dollars. But just like Jamie said, I need the variety pack first. And I was really trying to find the M&Ms, the Kit Kats, couldn't find them. So you know where we're at. We're at all reliable right now. Smart and final. All reliable came through. Let's go stock up my machine. So I'm doing the math right now. Everything cost me $96.13. I saw how much each one cost me, then how much I'm gonna sell it for, how much profit I'm gonna make. And if I sell everything, I'll make $239.25 revenue, $143.25 profit. Right now I'm testing the prices to see what sells, what doesn't. Stuff that sells really quickly, I might raise the price. Stuff that doesn't sell, I'ma discount it and try new products. Let's stock up my machines, see if I bought enough products. Boom, all stocked up, baby. I think I bought a little bit too much, to be honest. The next thing we have to do is Let's change the prices, but I already know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, it's 2019. You just spreadsheet. I took you guys' advice. Boom. I use Google spreadsheets. Pretty easy to figure out the multiplication, the adding. So the regular chips cost me 32 cents. I'm gonna sell them for 75 cents, making a 43 cent profit. Maybe I could charge more. Maybe I'm charging too much, but there's only one way to find out. Gotta let the customers decide. And that's it. That's simple. I thought it was gonna be harder. Let's change all the prices. So we're gonna go buy a better dolly from a guy, but I told him, can I see? Can I make sure that it works first before I buy? And he goes, yes. So that's what we're gonna go do right now. Let's go check it out. Let's go see if it works. So, look at this. Oh my God, I'm so scared. We in business. We're in business. All right. Oh, 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 oh. So we're gonna go find location for my snack machine. I'll be honest, the first person I'm gonna go ask is a mechanic shop that I already have a can machine in there. Hopefully, he lets me put my snack machine in there. I'm kinda putting all my eggs in one basket. Let's see how it goes. How you doing, man? Collecting? Nah, not today. Oh, okay. I just wanted to ask you, you're the first person. Would you be interested in having a snack vending machine here? I just bought a couple okay. and I'm just going around and right here I would give you commission okay. you know and um, I will bring it I will stock it you don't have to worry about it but only if you want man if you feel like it's not good for you how much commission are you I want to say 10% okay. yeah I mean, I've always wanted to do something like that here so yeah so even though I got a yes I still have to wait for him to get approval from his partners but now, let's try finding a location for my soda machine. Hope you enjoy seeing me start a vending machine business from home. And if you wanna see my first collecting from my vending machine, press the like button, subscribe so you don't miss my next entrepreneur video, and I'll see you in my next video.